Well, hello everybody and welcome back to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. Today is July 11th, 2019. And I did pull the forms on my curb here that I poured. As you can see, it's grayed up just nicely. And uh, that's another thing, you don't wanna pull forms too, too early on these things. Uh, because if you do, you could end up cracking the concrete if it's still green. So, and you don't, you don't wanna leave them on too long either. But uh, yeah, I got these all um, pulled and cleaned up and put away. So uh, we're ready to go on to the next step here, which is probably gonna be getting a roof on because I uh, hear rumors that there might be monsoonal, monsoonal, monsoonal moisture headed this way. Tongue twisted, I think I need a beer. Anyway, I wanted to show you that and uh, then we're going to get back into the important thing at hand because uh, we're going to do uh, off-grid electricity 102.2 um, today. That's uh, the second part of um, the PMAs, PMGs, and uh, a couple other things that I want to cover on that is... Uh, Location of mounts, where do you mount them? Well, the best place is out in the open. No trees, no buildings blocking them. As you can see, mine is doing its job up there. Another windy day, uh, no, no surprise. Uh, it's been like, uh, geez, it's gotta be close to three months now of just wind, 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 wind. I get one or two days of no wind or a break during the half a day and it comes back again. So that thing is doing its job. That's a KT5 up there. And that's a PMA AC three phase. Um, so it's putting AC uh, current down to a rectifier. Um, I had one other person yesterday mention that they had a, uh, a PMG two wire and they wanted to change it over. Now one of the things on a two wire is you can save on those because you only actually have to run the positive wire down through the, the mast and into your um, battery bank. The uh, negative wire can actually attach to the base of the mast because the mast will be your ground and uh, that just comes in from there. So you save a little bit of length of wire using a PMG over a PMA um, and that's good because you got to use heavier wire. All right. All right, so we were talking yesterday about guy wires. As you can see, I've got three guy wires on the top and three down lower. That's because I'm using a one piece, one and a half inch um, steel gas pipe as a mast, 21 feet high. And uh, because of that, if I just put the top guy wires on, that would act as a pivot point and then it would want to flex down lower and do a, a Hawaiian shimmy dance there. So I had to add second um, guy wires down lower. And I talked about the spring poles, and this is what I call a spring pole. And uh, you put these on your guy wires, and then uh, you, can, you could put an adjustment here, which I did, which is an eye bolt going through the pole so you can tighten it up as uh, your cable stretches a little. And then you also have this cable going down to a footing with an eye bolt in it. And then you put a turnbuckle in there. That's, that's what that item is called right there. So you can see that's expanded all the way. So I can actually tighten that up, which will pull on this pole and tighten my guy wire. All right, so we want to cover that. Um, again, don't, don't set your turbine up. Uh, too close to buildings and trees and things like that because uh, they will break the wind that's going into your your blades and uh, you won't get top performance out of them. Okay, now the other thing is don't forget sooner or later you're going to have to get up there and do some maintenance on this thing. There's, uh, there's pivots and wheels and things like that that have to be lubed. Well, um, climbing up there is no fun. So what you might want to do is, I've started mine already. I haven't uh, finished it, but uh, down here, 
I put a, uh, a hinged base on and I bolted that to my concrete footing. Okay, and then uh, what I'm gonna, that'll allow me to let this thing drop down towards me here. But that thing is heavy as hell. So you don't really want to do that by yourself or try to handle that thing by yourself. And uh, what I'm gonna end up doing is putting in another one of these concrete footings up close to my building there, down deep, run a really sturdy one. And I might even drill and, and fasten it into my foundation so it's really secure. And then I'm gonna put a, a, a boat winch, a hand crank boat winch down there that'll attach to this post. So I can lower it down slowly with a boat winch and crank it back up when I need to. And uh, I'll disconnect the, the cable from that when I'm not using it so that nobody else can just pull on, lower it down, and steal my PMA. Uh, the the uh, disconnected cable will also, I'll slip a, uh, a hockey puck lock over the top of the eye bolt that's going through the mast, so there's no way to hook it up to the, uh, to the mast and get it to get to use it. And then I'll put a lock on the uh, winch itself. All right, the reason I'm heading down here towards the garden house was uh, I was lazy again this morning. I didn't do a heck of a lot, but um, I was having some of these um, sunshades that were flopping around in the wind. The bottoms were never anchored. The, uh, the seams were never tied together. So I came out and I wired these together and they go through the uh, um, aviary wire on the inside. So they're anchored tight there. I got all of them and then I tied some off to the bottom wire because this one was short for some reason. That's Harbor Freight for you. Anyway, I got the, the last one on here. This is a brand new one. And uh, got this one on here to, to protect the last tree down here in the corner that was getting beaten up by the wind and the, the heat. So see if I can't get that one to really go into its uh, sprouting range. And uh, I still may get one more uh, tarp and uh, or sunshade and pick it up from here and uh, I figure that uh, those are 8 by 12s so I figure that's probably going to come close to this point right here and then I'll just have this little area still open uh, nothing really goes through there so uh, I don't think I'll bother getting another smaller top to finish it, but we'll see down the line. But I may cover this last corner here because uh, my poor little avocado tree is taking a beating. Although I'm gonna have to do something with those because uh, when the winter comes, they aren't gonna survive any frost, 20 degree temperatures or anything like that. I've got some, uh, some units going to seed here. I've been uh, pruning. That, uh, that tomato plant right there, that's an early girl, and it's over seven feet tall now, and it's got a lot of new buds and uh, tomatoes on it. And uh, this grapevine's doing great. My uh, cantaloupe is, well, a couple of the cantaloupes are spreading out all over the place, just doing fine. I've been breaking down my corn as I go along and use it up, so. I'll be getting into taking those corn stalks down pretty soon too, so I can get my fall um, plantings in, and uh, we'll go from there. And I'll let you see what I'm doing with all of that. And then uh, when the uh, weather changes and things slow down a little bit, I'll do some cooking shows. And I'll show you some of my favorite re recipes, and I'll show you some of the things that I do, like uh, uh, making creamed corn and uh, canning it for the... Uh, with the extra corn that's left over, things like that. I will save a couple of those ears and dry them out and save the seeds for uh, next year's crop. And uh, It's a little too late now to be thinking about getting another uh, crop of corn through, but I might try it anyway and see how far I get with them. I do want to uh, add another two by eight around the rest of the finish there and, uh, and fill that up to that point and get it up to the same height as the rest of this. So um, that, that gra ground over there is real shallow. It's okay for planting things like peas and, and onions, things like that. But 
I need to get more bigger crops in there so I can start um, preserving food for the winter time when growing is not an option out here. All right, girls are doing well. They're all in the corner over there. Um, I, I did some pruning in the garden earlier and I gave them what they wanted uh, to eat, a bunch of uh, broccoli flowers and things like that that we're going to seed. They had a ball with them. All right, that's it for today. G Bear reminding you, give me a thumbs up down there, please. I think it's over there. And don't forget to share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell after you subscribe. All the same stuff I always say. G Bear signing off.